Okay, so this is roughly the diagram of the problem. Uh, this this is the pulley which is uh, massless and uh, negligible mass, and the pulley and the surface both are uh, frictionless, so no friction loss uh, due to them. And block A has a mass of one. Um, if I say M A, that would be one kg. And if I say MB, that would be 2 kg. So these are the masses. And the inclination is 30 degree, inclination of the surface, this one. So the blocks are released from the rest with the connecting cord dot. Uh, what is their kinetic energy when the block has fallen 25 centimeter of block B? So when block B has fallen, so let's say this is, it goes further there. So it has gone fallen 25 centimeter what is the kinetic energy at that moment so since they are frictionless what's happening is uh, the equation will be so they will have an acceleration and both of acceleration of both of them will be the same the downward force due to this one is mbg uh, and upward pull for this one or upward tension for this one will be uh, since this is inclined, so that would be mag sin theta. So let's write that m sorry mbg mbg minus mag sin theta. This will be the resultant. So because uh, Sorry, I said uh, that by mistake. This will be upward. This is the weight force in that direction. And this is in that direction. So the subtraction will be the tension. So the resultant tension will be MBG, which is this one, minus that one. So that will be the resultant, of course, in this direction because this is uh, bigger. And if, if it were the other way, we would have get a negative one. So we are assuming the tension is in that direction and that has to be this one minus this one's basically weight in that surface. So this is mbg and this is mg, mbg sine theta because theta is 30 degree, not 90 degree, not a not vertical. So that will be equal to the ma plus mb that will be equal to the tension which will be the total mass times the acceleration. So from here we get the acceleration which will be so this is mbg minus mag sine theta over ma plus mb so if we do that we get 1 plus 2 this is uh, 2 times 9.8 minus 1 times 9.8 times sine 30 degree I'm just writing it directly so that is 0 0.5 sine 30 degree this is sine 30 degree because theta is 30 degree so that's there so this is 2 into 9.8 minus point, so basically on top is 1.5 into 9.8 and in the bottom is 3 so that is a so this is becoming 4.9 meter per second square so that's the acceleration with which the, the both the masses will go uh, will move basically that with the acceleration this is this is going down this is going up so that's there now the question is uh, if the blocks are really okay so what if they are released from rest that's important what is the total kinetic energy when the block b has fallen 25 centimeters so that means in order to find the kinetic energy we want we need to find the velocity when it has moved 25 it has gone down 25 centimeter so initial velocity is uh, zero so if we recall this equation b square equals to u square plus 2a uh, h or i will say s here because it's not g it's it's a different acceleration but it is going down anyway vertically it doesn't matter so this is starting from rest so that's zero so this is 2 into 4.9 times 
uh, 0.25 because that's in centimeter if I want to find velocity that will be square root of that which I get uh, I got 5 1.56 meter per second so that's the velocity so the total kinetic energy will of course be kinetic energy will be half ma v square plus half m b v square so I will write since it's total I will write just like that v square so individually they are half ma v square plus half m b v square they will have the same velocity of course so this is half 1 plus 2 and times 1.56 square and what I got as a result is 3.675 joule so that's the total kinetic energy